What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So everyone is so hyped for the Goku and Frieza Dual Dokkan Fest that's coming up soon that no one is talking about the other major banner that will be dropping with the celebration as well. Namely, the 250 million download celebration ticket banner as well as the featured units that will be on it. On a side note, I believe there will also be a separate banner that will allow you to summon on it with stones, but I wouldn't really recommend that for most people, and I'll get back to that in a second. For those who are unaware, we will all be getting tickets for this banner based on the number of stones that we spent between July 22nd of last year and August 21st of this year. 50 stones equals 1 ticket. So let's say you spent 5,000 stones in that time period, then you will be getting 100 tickets for this ticket banner. I want to make it clear that these are not GSSR tickets. They are regular summoning tickets on a banner that will probably have a regular 10% SSR rate. Now that we got all of that info out of the way, let's talk about the potential featured units we can expect on this upcoming celebration banner. But before we do that, I want to take a quick look at the 200 million download celebration banner from last year to use as a reference. And as you can see, there were quite a few featured units here, uh, specifically 4 times 6, uh, quick maths, 24 featured units. Everything represented here are all the major type leaders from the beginning of the game up to but not including the 120% leads. So with that in mind, let's quickly jump over to the Dokkan subreddit where a user by the name of gear 4 vegeto actually put together this amazing list of all the potential units that could be on the celebration banner for both JP and Global. So a huge shout out to gear 4 vegeto for putting this together, putting in that work, and making my life a lot easier. According to gear 4 vegeto if they decide to continue the trend from last year's banner, then this year's banner could feature as many as 44 SSRs on the global side and 49 SSRs on the JP side. And now I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but if you go through the list, it actually starts to make sense. Think about it, it's been a full year since the last download celebration banner and a lot of new leaders have come out since then. So why don't we jump right into this list and make sense of things. So we're gonna start out with the key plus three, attack plus 3000 leaders, and there were six cards, included things like STR Super Saiyan Broly, Tech Perfect Cell, Int Ultimate Gohan, Strength Super Gogeta, etc. Moving down, we have the Type Attack plus 80% leaders, and there were only three of them. There was Strength Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, Tech Beerus, and Int Super Janemba. There's also Physical Kid Buu included here, and he, even though he's not really a leader, he was on the last banner, so there's a good chance to be on this banner as well. Moving down, and we have the 70% leads. A lot of people think of this meta as actually the best meta in Dokkan. And we have, of course, five leaders. Strength Omega Shenron, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, AGL Super Vegito, Physical Super Saiyan Broly, and Int Wuhan. Now, moving down, there were also five 100% attack and defense leaders included here. And includes things like Strength Perfect Cell, Tech Golden Frieza, Physical Goku Black, etc. And now we got the 120% mono type leaders. There were 10 of them, five for each extreme and super type. And I'm not gonna go through the whole list, but you know, there's like SJ4 Goku, SJ4 Vegeta, um, Final Form Cooler, In Kid Buu, uh, you know, oh, how can I forget? Super Saiyan 3 Physical Gotenks, my favorite 120 lead. And in my opinion, still the one, the best. 120% lead overall, but that's just me. Anyways, that's a side note. We're gonna move down now, last but not least, to the, actually no, there's, there's more after that, I lied. It's, it's definitely not last, but we have the category leaders, and this one is where the major difference between JP and Global comes out. So some of these category leaders actually won't be on the Global banner because they're not available on Global yet, while on JP they have, you know, all the category leaders that are currently available, or at least known to us because they are the most up-to-date version. So, but of course, both versions are gonna have things like, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Omega Shenron, um, Int Ultra Instinct Goku, possibly, possibly. I don't know about that one. Um, you know, Int Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, Int Golden Frieza. The things that will be missing on Global that JP has would be things like the new androids, um, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, or what else? Uh, tech full power uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku as well because that's probably not coming to global for at least if I was to guess at least four to five months from now and uh, last but not least now <laughs> last but not least now are the um, super and extreme class units or super and extreme class leader units 
and they include things like AGL, Goku Black, Physical, um, Blue, or Vegito Blue, Tech Fusion Zamasu, and Super Saiyan Trunks. And hopefully, hopefully for this year's banner, they bring Strength, Rosé, and Tech Vegito Blue. I've been talking about this in a couple of videos now. I really, really hope they bring them into this banner because I need that STR Rosé real bad. I spent over a thousand stones trying to pull for him the first time he came to Global. Didn't get him, so this is another chance for me to pull him. Um, and down here he talks about how Tech, Mass Saiyan, and AGL Tapion have their own Dokkan events. However, they are not Dokkan exclusives like a lot of the other cards. All the other cards listed here, so um, he didn't mention them. Basically, these are all the cards that we can potentially expect to see on the 250 million download celebration banner. I believe the first couple of categories are, or not categories, but like first couple of you know, types of leaders, like the T plus 3, 3,000 plus 3, attack plus 3,000 leaders, the attack plus 80% leaders, the 70% leads, and the 120% leads, they're pretty fair, safe assumptions for, you know, things that will be included on the banner, but for the category leads, it's going to be a little bit iffy, because they might decide to not do category leads at all if they want to be a little bit stingy, or maybe they'll take out a lot of the leaders that people are really excited about. You know, uh, AGL Turles is one for Global that I can think of where they won't include him be just because he just came to Global, um, and also, of course, the uh, Android 21 and Android 17 that just came to... Um, JP, I think those might not be included in the JP banner as well because they're so new. And um, maybe maybe there's do like some of the old, you know, old category leaders like SSJ4, Gogeta, Omega Shinron, uh, possibly Ultimate Gohan, possibly Super Vegito, and then just not include some of the new ones. I don't know, it's totally up to them. This is all speculation, but if all the leaders are included on this banner, then like I said, there could be up to 44 cards featured on Global and 49 on JP. and. You know, if you're thinking about it in the sense of a regular banner that has a 10% SSR rate, the specific chance, the like specific rate for each of these featured units is very, very low. It's almost like trying to pull for an LR, even though they're featured, it's just because there's so many featured units. So that's why I said in the beginning video that I wouldn't necessarily, necessarily recommend people to summon with stones because um, your chances if you only want a couple of units on this banner are still very, very low. So it might be better just to save stones and use whatever tickets that they give you for spending the stones that you spent. But anyways, um, that's all for the video, guys. Like I said, this is just speculation. I don't know anything for sure. Nobody knows anything for sure until the banner actually comes out. But let me know what you guys think will be on the banner, whether you think these guys will all be on the banner or whether you think there will be some omissions. Um, but anything, any ideas you have, I would love to hear them. But that's going to do it for the video. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope you found it helpful. If you liked the video, as always, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like to see, and you want to see more of it, then maybe, just maybe, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. Anyways, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.